Happy New Year and Happy Epiphany to all of you. I hope you all had moments of joy and peace during this Christmas season. And together we hope for a year of healing and an end to the pandemic and a little more justice in our world. A few announcements before we get to our time of worship today. This coming Sunday, the 10th of January, is the day that we celebrate the baptism of our Lord. Normally, we invite all those who've been baptized in the past year at St. Paul's to join us for worship. As you know, we are not gathering in person, so we have sent those people emails indicating that we are going to pray for them and that if they wish, they can have their baptismal candles handy for that time in the service. But I also invite all of you to find a candle to use during the first part of our worship this coming Sunday. If you have a baptismal candle for anyone in your family, please try to find those. If not, just use any candle that you have for everyone in your home. You will also need a bowl of water for your worship space on Sunday. I'm telling you now, for those of you who see this before Sunday, so that you can be ready. Now today is the day of the Epiphany, when we celebrate the coming of the wise men. We're going to do something that might be new or different to some of you, but it is something that has been happening for a very long time. We're going to chalk our doors, or at least I will chalk my door. Yes, this means you need some chalk. It is usually done on Epiphany, January the 6th, but I know you'll be receiving this late and you're welcome to do it any time this week. I found some chalk in my sewing uh, materials because I used to use chalk sometimes when I would cut out patterns. But otherwise, you can also pick some up at the dollar store or anywhere you might go get your groceries. Or you can just participate with me at this time. I am using a liturgy that came in the last edition of the Canada Lutheran. You all need to see this edition because we are on the inside, oops, let me get this better. We are on the inside back cover. Ken Ward, the editor, asked me a while ago to look through some pictures of last year's Christmas services and to reflect on what those meant to me for the past, present, and future. So there's a few words of mine on that page as well. But within the context of the book is something called an epiphany blessing. And we do have complete permission to hand this out to you. So this should be in the constant contact email in which you received this video. It looks like this. or like this in black and white. Whoops, I'm gonna burn something right away. I have a candle next to me. So in just a moment, we're going to go outside of my home and tape the rest of this service as we chalk the door. When I last went to Germany, I noticed where my cousin lived and in all the houses in that town, they had some chalkboard above their door for this very purpose. Maybe you've noticed that in your travels too. So let's go outside now. So if you have that piece of paper with you or have it on one of your screens, I encourage you to follow along as we chalk the door. Peace be to this house and to all who enter here. A reading from Proverbs. 
by wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Let us pray. Tender God, as a shining star once guided the Magi to the birthplace of the infant Jesus, so enable those who dwell here to be your light, shining in the cracks of this bruised and broken world. And let us all together say, Amen. 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 So now I'm going to go up this little step ladder because I'm too short to do it otherwise. And I could do it here, but I'm going to do it here just because it's that much safer. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take your chalk and first you're going to write 20. Because 20 is the first part of our new year of 2021. Then you're going to put a plus sign and then the initial of each of the wise men as we know them. So plus C for Casper, plus M for Melkor, plus B, I have a harder time with this guy's name, Balthazar, then plus 21 for the year 21. And we ask Christ to bless this dwelling. A reading from Isaiah. The effect of righteousness is peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness, and trust forever. My people will abide in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings, and quiet places. So if you're together with people in your household, you can join hands or extend your arms toward one another. Please do all of this with the proper protocols that we're under. And we pray, nurturing God, we pray that you will offer your caring presence to all who live, visit or sojourn in this dwelling, that your love may be our inspiration your wisdom our guide, your truth our light, and your peace our benediction. And let us all together say, Amen. Amen. We are also going to pray this prayer. Compassionate God, we pray for all whose world is made small because of COVID-19, that your blessing would rest with them and that we might discover ways in which to befriend and care for them with your friendship and your care. Tonight, we especially pray for the United States of America, the White House and all who interact and do business there, those affected by the riots on the streets outside. Please bring peace and justice. And let us all together say, Amen. Amen. Awesome God, remember your people and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now I invite you to make the sign of the cross on your forehead as you were baptized. May our loving God watch over our going out and our coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And let us all together say, Amen. 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 And just so you know, we did receive 
full permission to be able to distribute this piece for you this evening. God bless.